I want to begin today with a few words about the heinous killing of 11 Jewish Americans at the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on Saturday. As you know, the shooter is in custody and the FBI is on the scene leading the investigation with the support of state and local law enforcement. This atrocity was a chilling act of mass murder, it was an act of hatred, and above all, it was an act of evil. The 11 Jewish Americans who were horribly murdered represented the very best of our nation. They were brothers and sisters who looked out for each other. They were doctors who cared for citizens in need. They were proud grandparents who taught their grandchildren to value faith, family, and country. And they were the religious heart of the Tree of Life community. Our nation mourns the loss of these extraordinary Americans, and we also pray for those who were wounded. Our hearts are with the four brave police officers who were shot and injured while trying to stop the attack. In the wake of the attack, we have witnessed Americans of every faith and tradition coming together to mourn with their fellow citizens, to support one another, and to stand in solidarity with America's Jewish community. The President cherishes the American Jewish community for everything it stands for and contributes to our country. He adores Jewish Americans as part of his own family. The President is the grandfather of several Jewish grandchildren. His daughter is a Jewish American, and his son-in-law is a descendant of Holocaust survivors. Tomorrow, the President and First Lady will travel to Pennsylvania to express the support of the American people and grieve with the Pittsburgh community. Does he have any concern at all that his words could inspire or provoke troubled people to do awful things? The very, first, Jonathan, attacks. the very first thing that the president did was condemn the attacks, both in Pittsburgh and in the pipe bombs. The very first thing the media did was blame the president and make him responsible for these ridiculous uh, acts. That is outrageous that that would be the very first reaction of so many people across this country. The, I'm not finished. The only person responsible for carrying out either of these heinous acts were the individuals who carried them out. It's not the president. No more than it was Bernie Sanders' fault for the individual who who shot up a baseball field of congressional Republicans. You can't start putting the responsibility of individuals on anybody but the individual who carries out the crime. 